Hello, this financial model illustrates the potential problems or pitfalls with the Excel VLOOKUP function in financial analysis. In this example, we are using a VLOOKUP to reference the last price for the following Dow Jones Industrial Average Stocks. The first pitfall is the first value. In some instances, Excel VLOOKUP can return the wrong value. Our simple table of stocks worked fine for the previous four days. However, today's extraction of stock data contains some lines of stock prices from the previous day. Hence, the XLV lookup is erroneously referencing the previous day's last price for Boeing, Cisco, General Electric, Microsoft and Verizon. This highlights one major pitfall which is often overlooked by financial analysts with the Excel VLOOKUP function. It will always reference the first value. The second problem is exact value. A powerful feature of the Excel VLOOKUP function is its capacity to identify only an exact lookup value, which can be also problematic when referencing values from a large data array, as in the following. This can be true if we are sourcing data like these closing Dow Jones stock prices from an external database or information source, which we are dumping into our financial model periodically. Although the previous four days were fine, today's example illustrates how the bulk of our Excel VLOOKUP formulas are returning an error in A. Pont and Intel are the exceptions. On the surface, it appears strange why our Excel VLOOKUP formulas are not working for these other stocks. But it is when we examine these reference cells in the table array that we realize these cells contain spaces after the text. Hence, XLV lookup will treat them as not an exact match and therefore not return the corresponding price. Hence the need to use this Excel trim function in column K and reference the corresponding cell in column D. Then copy and paste values and paste these values over this range in column B. The third is absolute table range referencing. The table array parameter in the Excel VLOOKUP function can sometimes pose problems. The previous four days of information were all uniform, however in the following data dump stock prices there are both Dow Jones 30 and NASDAQ stocks listed. When we copy over the legacy Excel VLOOKUP formula from the previous day, the absolute reference range doesn't facilitate all the data in this extended range. Table array parameters should be able to facilitate variable data arrays either by the creation of a defined name range or an expanded range as in the following. Please remember a large table array of reference cells will increase the file size of the financial model. Four, absolute column number referencing. This can be a major cause of erroneous Excel VLOOKUP referencing in financial modeling. Under this scenario, the data extract appears uniform. However, there is an additional column called executing broker, which our data source is now presenting in the data array. Existing Excel VLOOKUP formula is now incorrectly, incorrectly 
referencing the low price instead of the required last price for each of the stocks. Even if we cut out the executing broker column, paste over the right hand columns, the column index number will still wrongly reference the sixth column, column G. Instead of using the hard-coded 6 integer, replace it with the Excel columns function, which will reference the entire data array. Therefore, when we insert the executing broker column into the data extract of stock prices, our Excel VLOOKUP formula will update and flex to facilitate the additional column. We will continue to reference the last stock price for our Excel VLOOKUP formula as in the following. By using the Excel columns function, we ensure a more dynamic and flexible VLOOKUP formula for our analysis, which can facilitate any future additional columns being referenced in our upload of data. And finally, the range lookup parameter. This is probably the most obscure pitfall of the XLV lookup in financial analysis. It is advisable in best practice financial modeling to default to the false option, which references an exact match. In the following example, the data extract of the Dow Jones stock prices is not clean. Hence, if we are certain there is only one reference for each stock, then it is still advisable to maintain the false option in our Excel VLOOKUP formula and not change to the true option, closest match. As this example illustrates, applying the closest match range lookup parameter will incorrectly reference adjacent values. The exact false option would prevent these errors occurring after we have cleaned up the source data array. And there we have it, five potential problems using XLV lookup.